so it is it has been snowing for about two days here in Bremerton and uh, we're currently in between Christmas and New Year's so Joel and I have decided to make a little bit of a trip up to Whitby Island um, we're gonna brave all of the snowy icy roads and we're going to be staying in a historic lodge on Whitby Island called the Captain Whitby um, so come along we want to share our adventure with you and show you the beauty that is um, the Olympic Peninsula in Kitsap County uh, in the snow this year. So come on. It's currently 28 degrees outside. Look at that. <laughs> so cold. All right, so we're off. Uh, Kona is going to stay at a kennel in Silverdale. Um, the lodge that we're staying at is not pet, pet, pet friendly. So um, he's going to be all right just two nights um, despite how cold it is. So the kennel's got a nice heated indoor area for all the pups. So um, we're gonna hit the road, gonna take it nice and easy. So the roads look pretty nice right now. Check that out. Yesterday they were all covered up, like completely still snowed and iced over, but looks like they got the plows out, some salt out. That's pretty good. Okay, so it looks like right now we've made the boat. We're in the parking lot, lined up, ready to go. Um, we got about an hour and a half before the next sailing though. So we're gonna head down to the Country Mercantile and see if we can find some hot chocolate or something else to keep us warm. But it is super cold and gray out there, um, but we're happy we made the boat so that we can make our reservations on Whitby Island. We are on the Salish Ferry headed to Port uh, to Whitby Island. We're going to be coming into Coopsville, um, and it is really cold out there. You can't go on the decks right now because it's icy, um, but still like spectacular views from the ferry right now.
morning. It is day two on Whidbey Island. I will show you guys what it's like inside the lodge a little bit later. So uh, this morning we are off. We're gonna go find some breakfast and some coffee and then explore the island. I think we're planning on going to uh, Fort Ebby, uh, maybe Deception Pass and uh, checking out Oak Harbor as well. Um, but come along and we'll show you what it's like uh, exploring Whidbey Island. So the little red hen was closed. Uh, there's Toby's, that's where we had dinner last night. Everything else had been closed by like six o'clock. So that's where we were able to eat. Um, we're off now to try to find somewhere else to find breakfast and coffee. Casey right now enjoying the beautiful views in the snow. Um, we're here at the lighthouse. Um, sun's like right in our eyes here. <laughs> um, but it's really cool to see like all of the um, fort structures covered in snow. Uh, the Olympics are out um, and just you know bathed in snow and sunlight and it's just so pretty. So it's, yeah we're super happy to be here. And I think the park's technically closed, both the gates are closed here, but uh, we're gonna try to walk in and check out some of the park. It's about a mile, it looks like. And um, so we're gonna just go down the road. Uh, Phil's bringing his backpack just in case. We don't wanna get lost in the snow. I don't have any phone signal right now, so better be prepared than to be sorry later. So uh, we'll show you what we find.
So we're inside one of the batteries at Fort Ebby and it is pretty cool to kind of explore these dark chambers, if you can tell my voice is echoing. But yeah, um, it's, it's pretty dark, bring a flashlight, but you should be able to kind of see the inside of the facility and imagine what it used to be like. We're leaving for Ebby. We're gonna go to Oak Harbor and try to find some place for lunch. I think, overall, what do you think, Philip? That was a lot of fun. That was really a lot cold. of fun. Yeah, it was really cold. We hiked the entire length, or almost the entire length of the Bluff Trail um, from the south all the way up to Point Partridge. And it was just really, really pretty and a lot of fun. And we totally would recommend it. It was so quiet, just like standing in, in some of those parts where you couldn't hear anybody there was like nobody around and you could hear the waves laugh lapping on the shore like way down below so definitely like extremely gorgeous <laughs> So behind me right now is the bridge at Deception Pass. Uh, it sounds like it was built sometime in the 30s and 40s. I don't remember the dates. I'll, I'll try to note them below, but it's super cool to see. Um, we decided not to walk across the bridge. It seems a little sketchy in the snow and the ice right now, but the view is spectacular. Let me check this out behind me. Um, it's just amazing to see all of this in the snow and the ice. snowed a couple more inches last night so we're trying to get on one of the earlier ferries and make sure that we can actually get home pick Kona up from the kennel and all of that uh, but I wanted to show you guys the room a little bit it's super super cute um, super rustic walls all the way around and the windows are you know all historical um, so single pane glass and wooden frames um, it does make it uh, the infiltration pretty bad in the room so we did have to have the, the little baseboard heaters on uh, a good part of the time to keep the room warm 
Um, and it's really interesting too, when the wind blows against the frames, you can kind of feel the air coming through a little bit and it kind of rattles the frames too. But um, it adds to the charm, I think, of the lodge and kind of why we chose to stay here. Uh, the beds were super, super comfy. They had nice like comforters on them and a wool blanket to keep us all cozy and warm. Um, and then these are, since we're in the historic lodge here, we actually have a shared bathroom. And so while we are in room number two, which is a suite, um, you know, we still had to share the bathroom with other guests, but I never saw anybody in the restroom, um, so never actually had to share the restroom at all, um, which was great. Um, but there is a little sink. There's Phil putting his shoes on. Um, there's a sink in the room so you can brush your teeth or, you know, do your makeup or whatever, wash your hands um, if you need to in the room, um, which I thought was a really nice touch. Um, overall, loved the room. The rest of the lodge is super cozy too, so I'll try to take some video as we head out um, and just make sure like if there's you know, no other guests around or anything like that. Um, huge recommendation for the captain would be on Whidbey Island. We really love the lodge. Um, we did get uh, to take or to get some drinks at the bar last night, which was a lot of fun. Um, but everyone says, you know, come back in the summer. It, there's a lot more to do like kayaking or fishing or um, hiking around the island. Um, they have s'mores at their fire pits uh, at, on the weekends too. So um, all in all, we will be back. We loved it and we had a great time here.